This is uh, Mark 4.35. That's Mark 4.35. And the same day when the evening was come, he saith unto them, let us pass over unto the other side. I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you where you, you've read this a million times, but you, don't, you may not have gotten it. But what Jesus is saying here, he said, let us pass over to the other side. That's pretty simple. I'm going to come back to it. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took with him, even as he was in the ship, and there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat onto the ship until it was full, full of water, I assume. <laughs> Verse 38, and he was in the hinder part of the ship asleep on a pillow, and they awake him and say to him, Master, carest thou not that we perish. Don't you care about us? Well, we know God cares about us. And he arose and he rebuked the wind. Could the wind hear him? No. Wind doesn't hear. He rebuked the wind and that released the Holy Spirit to perform God's will. And he said to see, peace be, peace be still, and the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, why are you fearful? Why are you fearful? And have no faith. You ever wonder why he said that? Go back to verse 35. I'll read it again. And the same day when the evening was come, he saith unto them, Let's, let us pass over unto the other side. So he already told them, we're going to the other side. And so when they woke him up and said, you know, why are you going to let us perish? He's wondering why, okay, I told you a few minutes ago, we're going to the other side. Don't you believe what I say? See, that's why he rebuked them, because they didn't believe what he said. They didn't go back to what he said. They just looked at the circumstances surrounding them and went into fear. How many times do we do that? You know, when the enemy attacks you with a fearful thought, you got to go back to the Word of God and find a clear scripture so that you can think right. And you can stand on that scripture instead of going into fear. See, they could have come back, oh, well, you know what? He said we're going to the other side. That's where we're going. There's no reason to go into fear. God said, I wish that you would prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Do you believe that? But there are some things that you've got to do to honor God and his word to make that be fruitful in your own life. You just can't declare and decree things and then not, not honor God's word. If you don't honor his word, it's not going to happen. Because the scripture says he honors his word above his name. 